Hello and welcome to another episode of Spirit Seeking with Pratik on Sound Health Solution. I know we spoke about the throat chakra in the previous episodes and we have already done a video about healing the throat chakra. But there's so much to speak about the throat chakra. There's so much to say about the throat chakra. It's also the chakra of expression and I guess I'm expressing a lot when it comes to this chakra. Apart from using crystals and essential oils and mudras and yogas and this and visualization meditation and all, there are other different methods to cleanse and purify and strengthen and bind the throat chakra. Let's get right into it. First of all, the first, the foremost and the most easiest way to clean your throat chakra is to stay hydrated. Staying hydrated helps to cleanse your body overall. But every time pure clean water passes down your throat, it cleans your throat. It's as easy as that. Another way to keep your throat chakra healthy is to make sure that the muscles around the throat chakra are continuously moved and exercised. This involves rotation of your shoulders. You can do this every morning. Just rotate your shoulders backwards for about 10-15 times and then forwards for another 10-15 times. Then rotate your neck and move your neck in different ways. Sideways, sideways, up, down, sideways. Try to rotate it. When you do this, the muscles around your neck tighten and loosen up and they get their regular exercise and it keeps the area around your throat healthy and hence keeps the throat chakra healthy. Remember we said the physical body is directly linked to the chakra bodies. Well, if you are a shy and an introverted person, the best thing that you can do in order to make sure that you have a link, a communication, a connection with your throat chakra and that it is strong and healthy is to write a daily journal. This is what my little brother does. He writes every day. And in the beginning, he found it very difficult to write regularly. But once you start getting the gist of it, once you start relating with your diary, you can't stop. He can't stop. And because of his journal, he has turned into this very mature and wise guy in a very early age. So I recommend you write a journal for your throat chakra. Usually the throat chakra underperforms if its energy channels are blocked. So going to the nearest corner and getting a therapeutic massage usually helps. When you do a massage, the energy around your body, the places at which your energy might be blocked, releases and opens and you find yourself more energetic as energy starts flowing throughout your body all over again, including the throat chakra. Another interesting thing that you can do for your throat chakra, and that is what I do, is I hum and I sing. The throat and the mouth is for the voice. And that's what I make use of it for. Almost all the time you can find me humming, and singing. Heck, get a musical instrument and start playing it. That also helps. Start humming with it. It does not need to be a chart buster. It can just be your own personal song. Just make songs, just sing songs or sing your favorite songs. This will make sure that your throat is exercised and you are expressing yourself. When you sing, a lot of feelings come out, a lot of emotions come out, and you're able to put them out. And putting your feelings and emotions out in the open means you're exercising the throat chakra. It makes you more confident, helps you raise your self-esteem, and a lot of other things. The next way, this might be a little absurd for us all, but silence. Silence has a melody of its own that most of us are not familiar with. Silence has a healing melody of its own 
and when you accustom yourself to silence and start hearing the sound of silence you start getting addicted to it and it's healing at the same time and you don't want to let go you just want to sit and listen and when you do that your throat chakra automatically regenerates it automatically strengthens itself it heals itself and you start feeling anew you start feeling fresh you start feeling confident you start feeling emotionally intelligent another one is breathing deeply breathing deeply not only helps to heal your throat chakra but it also heals and energizes and refreshes the entire body and finally you always have visualization meditation to help you you can just sit be quiet be calm take a couple of deep breaths and imagine a blue energy entering your body and cleansing the nooks and corners of your body and while you're also visualizing i've not tried this for myself but i've heard it from a lot of my friends that trying to communicate inside yourself with the archangel gabriel also helps a lot since gabriel is supposedly responsible for the art of speaking and communication so these were some of the interesting ways in which you could heal your throat chakra i'm sure some of these ways will help you try them out and tell us how it worked out for you and if you like whatever is happening here do not forget to press the like button and if you think that the world deserves a new community of sensitive new organized fresh enlightened human beings subscribe to us we'll make sure that we have more discussions about more spiritual things with you until next time